Good morning. I'm carrying on with quartiles and we're looking now at a data set that has nine values in it. So let, with nine values, that's an odd number, so there will be a number in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. That is your middle number. One, two, three, four, five. So seven is the median for quartile two. Now, quartile one is the middle of the lower set. So it just so happens that there are two fours in my lower set, but neither of them is actually quartile one. I know this is very theoretical, but we'll actually use them to find quartile one. And uh, obviously it is four. Uh, quartile one equals four there, but it's a four that we've created. Uh, four plus four is eight. Eight divided by four is, uh, eight divided by two is four. And it just so happens in this particular data set that there are two tens here, but again, neither of them is actually my quartile three. I would go through the process of going 10 plus 10 is 20, 20 divided by two is 10. So my quartile three is equal to 10. So what you're going to see now is my quartiles have divided my data very neatly into even parts. Two values, then quartile one, two values, then quartile two, two values, then quartile three, two values. If you do this correctly, you'll always find your data is divided up very neatly and evenly. Um, minimum is then three, quartile one, four, quartile two, seven, quartile three, ten, and max twelve. The range is twelve minus three equals nine. The interquartile range is ten minus four equals six. Let's have a look at 10 values in the data set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's an even number of values. So there are two numbers in the middle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 7 and 8. So 7 plus 8 is 15. 15 divided by 2 is 7 and a half. So my quartile 2 or median is 7,5. Although 7 and 8 were used to find the quartile 2, they are not actually quartile 2. And so the 7 is still part of the data set, uh, the lower data set. And 8 is still part of the higher data set. So if we look at the lower data set, we have 5 values and there is a middle value. It is that 6. So there is quartile 1. And if we look at the top set, we have a middle value here that is 10. So that is quartile 3. So if we look at uh, the data, we'll see two values, quartile 1, two values, quartile 2, two values, quartile 3, and two values. The data set has been divided evenly. And again, minimum 3, Q1, 6, Q2, 7.5, Q3, 10, max 13. That's your five-number summary. And the range is 13 minus 3 equals 10. The interquartile range is 10 minus 6 